Yeah. The day he was, he's still a young man now. Yeah. Back in the day, he you was younger. Is crazy, yo, son, you man. know what's wild, yo? Back in the day, I had a chance to lose my virginity at fucking nine years old, fam. Did you get it? I didn't do it, nigga. Sure. <laughs> no, nah, my mom's was on the way home. He was like, oh, we not, not doing son, that. Son, son, not think nine years old. That's Damn. different. Bro, that, back then I felt like was, that nigga was fucking the babysitter. How old? How old was I the, got raped by my babysitter. How old was the I potential? I try, Same I try, age, nigga. No we, names. I don't want to talk Brush. about. I don't want to talk about my no babysitter because my babysitter nigga. was somebody baby mama in here. Son, I, I see her oh. right now. <laughs> son, I see her right now. <laughs> son, right. stupid, bro. You know, from time to time, ten, nigga. Ten, ten, nine, ten, nigga. nigga. Yeah, Fourth nigga. grade, nigga. Fuck out of here. I was like, nigga, stupid, buddy. Fuck. Hey man. Oh damn. This shit. 80s made niggas grow up real quick, boy. Man. There was a situation. I was think I was at this place called. Uh, uh, yeah, they call it Pee Wee's. You know, and uh, it looked at me like I was crazy because I kept oh, buying shit. all the chicken and shit. What the? Hey, fuck? yo. Fried chicken, like you guys. You know, shit, it's not my fault. But um, yeah, one guy was asking me, "Hey, why are you trying to buy up all our chicken?" I said, "You guys make good chicken. We don't season ours." I said, do you know Cap? Yeah, I record in his studio. <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, you let's... have your life in danger on the weekends? Do you have nowhere to go to get shot? You have nowhere to wow. go get stabbed? Well, look no more. Come to Washington. Pee Wee's. Elmira, New York. <laughs> what Yo, the bang, bang. damn? <laughs> Bro. Hey, that nigga said, you ain't got nowhere to go to get shot? All that shit was missing yeah. was the background music. That's nigga. it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, come on, man. Y'all niggas. <laughs> you niggas is silly as <laughs> fuck, man. Yo, that you, was, you ain't got yo, nowhere to get shot? That was a good time that day. I wish, <laughs> we, had the, I wish we had the excerpts yeah. from that, boy. We, had, we talked some shit that day. Oh, man. Yo. So how was everybody's weekend, man? It was it was good. It was peace and blessings. Man. Good. Mine was great. I spent the day with eight 12 year olds at the mm. movie seeing the Barbie movie. Man, that's good. About, was it I spent about $195. Was it Ooh. good? Damn. That's what I said. I was like, yo, all your mamas need to cash at me $20. <laughs> yo. <laughs> I'm so glad my kids is adults shit. now. I, what's man. that song? Give me $20. Give me $20. Yeah. Yeah. Was the movie good, brother? Friday. Nah, they was talking about some shit. They was like, yo. I wasn't paying attention in the beginning because I was on my phone and it was like, yeah, just beat it off. Well, I'm going to beat Whoa. it off. Are you going to beat it off? I was like, wow. I turned to the neighbor. I said, did they talk this, about beating it off? Yes, yeah, it's like, subliminal, the subliminal. This, this, is, this is in a Barbie movie? This, this is in a Barbie movie. I mean, it's not, it's a Barbie movie. It's for, um, it's definitely for um, the teenagers. It's Whoa. not like. Not for a little, little, little kids. It's not a little, little <clears throat> kid movie. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm fortunate that, you know, like I said, my girls was 12 and you know, at that time, you have to have them uncomfortable, comfortable conversations. Right? Yeah. So we've yeah. talked about a lot of that stuff. So I was cool, you know, hearing it. But yeah, it was a little. It was a little. You know, don't take your daughter to see it. No. She's, she's, she's too just, little. No. Don't true. take your daughter to no. see it either. No. Oh, it's a little too advanced. It's a little too much. Yeah. Okay. My daughter. Okay. My daughter. My daughter is a. Sorry, dumpster. dude. Dude, we, we we ain't going to see that. Sorry. <laughs> we gonna watch it on. Um, it's different. We gonna watch it on the flash drive in two years. Yeah. <laughs> Cody. Cody. <laughs> Cody. Yeah, yeah. Quest, how was your weekend, brother? Hey man, my sh my shit was regular. Oh shit. Nah. Matter of fact, it was fly because yesterday we had a family uh, baseball game. Mm. With, with all the in-laws and yeah, grandkids, nieces, nephews, and we we play that brands. Oh right. man, that's... not softball, baseball. Yeah, I ain't I fucking with niggas. no little kids oh, throwing shit. no baseballs. Yo, word man. has it though, you hit a couple home runs. I was bro, hearing. let me. Yeah, I was just about to get to that because I'm feeling myself. Talk about it. Talk bro, about it. Bro, I ain't hit no yeah. baseball, not a softball, baseball in like 20, 22 years. Bro. Who was pitching though? No. That nigga put his. Uh, that nigga's put his Kareem Abdul Jabbar yeah. goggles on. Yeah, no, son. Yeah, For real, too. Huh? That nigga had his Kareem nah, Abdul Jabbar here's goggles Here's what you missing. Here's what you missing. He had some knee pads, elbow pads, it's all true. that shit. Son, a nah, cop, a he, cop. Said, he said, who pitching? Yo, yo, yo it, was, it, it was one of the, it was It was my uh, brother in law uh, who swings like Jose Canseco and shit, right? Okay, come but on. But look, but look. Nah, niggas couldn't hit it out like me, though. Nah, I, I can Son, I was on my Jeter shit. I did the whole. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me get Hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Son, every time I went to the. Nigga. I got a question, though. I got Yo, a question. Let me get fly. So, you said the, the family. So, what was the age demographic? Because it sounds like you may have been the only 
athlete that be in the gym in oh, that shit. motherfucker. Like, that's some, 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 yeah, three, three, three for three. Yo, 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 nah. <laughs> And I hit a home run Yo, off son, of I was one of three. I was one of three athletic people. <laughs> okay, who, oh, who else was oh, athletic? Shit. Yeah, he was taking full advantage of that Yo, shit. Can you hear me? His great uncle. Yeah. You can hear me? Perfectly. Who? His great um, uncle. Yeah, he who, said, I'm feeling real good who, about myself, too. Who, who was the athletes that yeah, was there? Because right, I don't know. His they, great they, uncle. There ain't no athletes in your family. No. His great uncle. Don't even call. Listen, I love my nephew. Unless yeah. you're talking about a sumo wrestling no. athlete. Don't even mention yeah. my nephew's name. That's I'm my nigga, you. though. Wait, who, who you talking about? Not nephew. Three three. Nah, was nah, he playing? The, was he yeah, there? Yeah, he was playing. He was pitching for Good us. Good call out. Good call oh, out. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, Neff was yeah. playing? So yeah, he so talking about, he he was about athletes he was in the gym. Pitcher. You heard him. He was like, we be in the gym. I'm, I'm trying to figure out the athletes in the gym who we talking about. I told you, it's two generations removed, nigga. This is a great uncle and his son. Yo, nah, Your son don't be in the gym neither. Nope, he don't. He don't be. He was taking full advantage of everybody in that. That nigga, that, nigga was, nah. that nigga was hitting home runs at the special geriatric Olympics. <laughs> that motherfucker had a bunch of special kids and old niggas. Yo, That's I, what he I, who I, set I, it up? Who I, set it up? My uh, sister in law, Shannon. Nigga, no you comment, set it no up. Nah, I got invited. <laughs> nah, I got invited too. I just couldn't make it because our girls, they performed at Raymore and Flanagan yesterday. All right. yeah, yeah, Son, I look, look, look. Up. Yo. That was nice. That's yo, when it comes when it comes with some sports shit, yo, I tap in, bro. I gotta be That's the best. Son. So listen, yeah. Curtis said, you keep avoiding the shit. Who are the athletic people that you talking right. about besides yourself? All right. My my niece's boyfriend. Guilty. Who? <laughs> Oh, son. Oh, hold on, I've been drinking, nigga. Hold on. Nah, listen, this ain't Beyonce. This ain't Beyonce. You ain't. This ain't Beyonce. Oh, <laughs> you know my cousin from Virginia, nigga. Nah, hold on, and then and if then, you gotta think this hard, there, that means there's no athletic niggas. Yeah, yo, my son's name. God damn. What was Duke name? It's all good. At least you shine. You got your shit off. Damn. You did your thing. And then yeah, I got. I did. I did three for. I had three for three. Two home who was runs. There, you got your shit off. I got my shit off. I How felt far? like Jeter, nigga, and it Quest. was live, nigga. How far was the home run? It was at Brands, nigga. How far? Brands, nigga, over the fence, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> there was no over the fence. Brands is open. No over there ain't no, no fence over, no, over no, there. No, no, there is. Oh, there is they fence. got the yeah, baseball yeah, field, yeah, nigga, yeah, over yeah. the fence, nigga. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nigga, over the fence. Oh, you talking about the Pee Wee League what fence? Think? What you think? In stride. 200, 200 feet, maybe? M- maybe. 230 Yo, we talking all this shit, yeah. but if we go over there. Nigga, you go over there. And we play. All I'm saying is Quest is bragging about beating a nigga in a foot race like me. I'm thinking we should go over there. Hey, you kind of fast on the motherfucker. Stop playing, I'm thinking next week we should go over there and go live. Nigga, I'm, I'm, with it. I'm, I'm with it. it. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. Like, what's next yeah, Sunday? Can, Shit, long as it ain't too hot. You know, I can't fuck with the heat. Plan. We can do something I next week. fuck around, have a MS relapse. We want to see Quest get on his Jeter shit. Yeah. Ooh, bro, matter of fact, let me call who, who the family until we do it again. We go, yo. I'm gonna have a picture. But listen, but this ain't tell us who was pitching. So you ain't, he ain't tell us who was pitching, and how come there ain't no video? I was hitting, nigga. I was too busy getting my jeep around. Fuck him up. I wasn't wasn't recording, nigga. I was swinging. Nigga, ask nephew, bro. I was on my Jeter shit, nigga. Word up. Yo, that was live. That was my highlight. If 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 it got busy, then it got busy. (laughs) That's a whole fact, bro. That's it. You talking about Jeter from New York or the one from St. Paul Church? Jeter? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You talking yeah. about the one from St. Paul Church? Yeah. 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 Or the one from the Bronx? <laughs> Sound like a nigga I about know. Eric Jeter, the one that played the piano in St. Yeah. Paul. Yeah, nigga, nah, not that Jeter, nigga. Which Jeter are you talking about? I'm talking about Derek Jeter, the GOAT, oh. nigga. Yo. Yeah. You know a, the A stand for an A Rod? <laughs> I never heard that one. Enlighten me. Yeah, I don't, I don't want I'm not interested. A Rod? Yeah, I'm not interested in what <laughs> Alex Rodriguez, what? <laughs> hold up, hold up. Let me let me um reel us back in. Yes, sir. Okay, so my weekend was good. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's crazy, man. You know the yeah. bullshit I'm, about I'm that? I'm tearing up already so over listen, here. Real like, quick. Can I say this real quick? Yes. I'm just trying much. to get through you the, know the, the bullshit the, the, about him reeling us back in. <laughs> He asked you how your weekend was. He asked you. You ain't he even get you. to you yet. Yeah, I didn't ain't get to you yet. Ain't the man that's asking. The, but you the last. You the person asking. No. You supposed, supposed to come to me first, then end with you. Well, my weekend was blah blah blah. So you gonna ask me what my nah. weekend was after you? So see what you're doing is you're going by a preset, determined way a to do preset? things, oh, right? Shit. So what I'm doing is just right, going by. Uh, right. organized way to do things. Right. So First of all, where did we start? I'll don't disrespect that. Hold on. No, 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 let me, no, no, let me finish. Let me finish because it's hard for y'all to stay on track. Where did we start? 
We started with Sharp. Was your day. Sharp. With, with you, we started yes, with sir. Sir. Then we went to you. Oh. Then I made sure we got to you. So then I had to interject oh, and that's say, that's "Hey, that's this that's is that's how." Next in the cycle. And then guess who's after me? I apologize. But guess who smokes too much weed? Yeah, mm. not me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this side. This is definitely this side of the room. Who smoked too much? That nigga Marshall looked at the microphone like he said something to him. I think I smoked. I think I smoked my prescription. Yeah. I, I smoked the prescribed amount. Yeah. Marshall looked at the mic like it says something to him. Like who? Who, nigga? What? What you said? What you said? I mean, in your eyes. Yeah. I don't smoke enough. Yeah. Quickly though, so we can get to Marshall before he hook off on me with them ashy knuckles. Uh-huh. My weekend was great. I say that because I ain't have to do too much this weekend. Nice. Um, it was fucked up though because my goddamn um, my dog woke me up mad early on yesterday morning, and it was my only day to sleep in because I'd be grinding, shut up the sun down, and I was like. I told my wife, like, yo, I'm sleeping into at least 8.30. Oh, yeah. 8.30. 8.30, right? Sleeping yeah. in until 8.30. My, dog, my dog came in the room at 6.45 I'm retired. How the grind is. Wasn't nothing to bark at. The nigga was sitting next to the bed with, like, hur, 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 hur. Yeah. I hopped up, man, quick. Oh, like, like, oh, shit, shit they shoot. Yeah, yeah, my wife was like, "I'm sorry, baby." I was like, "Maybe she trained him how to do that shit, yeah. just to be." I was about to say, him, him, and Liz, him and Liz, we talk about like, you see how I fucking with him. Yeah, I she be fucking that. with me, like for real. But other than that, my weekend was good. I got to chill out. I ain't touch nice. no weights. I ain't go for no walks, no runs. I ain't do no work. Straight relax. Got to kick it with my kids. Uh, nice. My son Tone is at. Uh, the lake still doing his council thing, job, summertime shit. Oh, but oh. why so? It felt good just to chill the fuck out, man. Sometimes it's like you need chill time when you don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. That's, That's a whole a fact. fact, yo. That shit felt good, man. Oh, so. Yeah, man. So you want me to tell you about Hold up, hold up, hold up. He shouldn't say nothing right now. Oh, nigga, you fucked up. So how was your weekend? It's Sunday. The weekend ain't over yet. Yeah. I think it's always over. Yeah. We're going to see how it goes in about an hour. Tomorrow, yeah, I this nigga know. always on this bullshit. Yeah. Now, it was cool, though. It was cool. I ain't do much of nothing. I slept a little bit. Yeah. Uh, went and go see my man out by the lake. Nice. Went and seen them half a tan white holes. <laughs> Yo, what the <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 you know what I'm talking about. Half a winter you, and half a summer on their ass. Yo. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? Half a winter and half they, a summer you know, on their ass. Damn. They be having too much makeup on. Their face don't match their neck. Damn. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. Their face be mad clear to their neck be mad dirty. Y'all yo, gonna make us mad on popular. Yo, chill, <laughs> chill, 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 chill. Hey, you know you see, yo, I ain't gonna lie, be real though, cause cause as as niggas like you don't really think about that shit. Until you, you know, be just moving around and you see a motherfucker like yeah. go as I told yourself. You, I told you. Ass. I told you last week. I told you last week. I seen a girl. Her her lipstick was so bright red and her teeth was yellow. I thought she was a Happy Meal box. Yo, oh man. man, it's Ronald's sister. Yeah. Word up. God so damn. Go with yourself. And, Y'all the mask. and the mask. Yo, y'all sound mad judgmental. Right Let me now. tell you about how Cap almost got me stabbed up. Okay, oh, talk about man. it. What happened? What's that? That's so, the old me, man. The new threw, me gonna try to get you out of some shit. Now nah, we threw a party. We threw a party at Fred's, uh-huh. and this is when he was. He had the situation with the Fly Boys. Okay, yeah. Right. So if you ain't never performed with Cap, oh, man. sometimes Cap <laughs> get on his talking shit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we had a time limit. Yeah. And so when I host. I stick to the time limit. Yeah, I let five. Cap go five minutes over. And so I guess the nigga Bang was supposed to perform with the Fly Boys. Yeah. And I just cut their whole set, the rest of their set, because yeah. Cap talked through their set. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was a, how did, how, how was that? That was a special guest, So listen, nigga. right? Word up. I'm listening. That so, was the guy. So I go up. You so, scratched over they said? I was the guy. No, nah, it wasn't so, even a disrespectful thing. It was a... Uh, yeah, it was, like, yeah, yeah. It was, it was a think about it. Some, sometimes, time. and sometimes um, when you're dealing with people that haven't done it like that, yeah. they don't know how to segue. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you already know. We know how to segue. We know how to keep the crowd entertained. Yep. And I was introducing a group that I was working with. Right. So it was a combination of some things, but yeah, not. Nah, but it was like I said, it wasn't like it was bad or nothing. But I, I, I looked at Cap 
And I, I, hit, I went like this. I remember that. And I, and I, and I came but right on stage. It was in Corning, though. No, it wasn't. It, it was in Corning, brother. Are you sure? I, I'm positive. I see it in my head replaying the stage up there. It was in Corning. So... Right next door to the Radisson, VFW. Right? The VFW. My nigga. Oh, right yeah. Okay. So, so listen, I right? Yeah. Stage so stage. I motherfucker, I go on stage and Cap says, all right, y'all. And then they leave stage, right? So I introduce who's ever up next. And so I come off stage and the nigga is in the cut waiting for me like, like, yo, son. Oh. <laughs> oh. Bang. Oh, bang like, yo, son, so when am I supposed to go on? I said, uh, bro, you're not on the roster. The list. The, the name of the list. You want on the list. What's the name of this group again? The Flyboys. Oh, yeah, the f- Flyboys. The Flyboys or yeah. Flyboys? Yeah, I, I don't I know. Flyboys. So, so the Cousin Krills, the one that oh, owned. Okay. Yeah, and then um, Krills Shuler. And, and Shuler. Yeah, Brian Shuler. Yeah. And yeah. These, these are white boys, right? Yeah. 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 One, of, fire. one, of, them called, was fire one too. of them called himself Bang. No, Bang. Nah, Bang. Bang, bang Shine. Bang. He, bang Shine. Oh, Bang Shine. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so I come off stage. I'm standing on the side. He's like, yo, fam, um, what am I going on? I said, go ahead and say that. You're not on the list. I said, you, I, I don't even got you on the list. He said, I'm supposed to, I am was supposed to perform with the Flyboys. I said, well, you got to take that shit up with Cap. He took all the time. I don't know what you want me to do, brother. Nah, we got to keep going. Time. And he was like, nah, but y'all going to let me rap. I said, uh, brother, there ain't no time for you to rap. You know what sure. I'm saying? And so I'm looking at the nigga, and I'm like, damn, this nigga is about to try to poke me. Yeah, yeah he, he give it up, too. Yeah, he give it up. Like, Shouts to Bang. He give it up. Word up, but yeah, that shout that, out, that's shout out, one. shout out to him because he ain't he ain't trying to touch you that night. That, that nigga was the fuck. That, that nigga, nigga was that would have got crazy. That's why this Man. is my thing. Now he was always that. respectful. Nah, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's be real. Like, like, nah, like I said, yeah, like I said, after I had to have a conversation with him and explaining to him what happened, why yeah. things was going on, yeah. da, 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 and I'm like, yo, fam. He was like, I, just, I said, oh, you just got a 16. I'm gonna try to fix you. Because you got to keep it in mind when um when niggas is uh making music. And don't never get an opportunity. It's like this is the patch. Sometimes niggas feel like music is the only or the best way out for them. That's the only thing. And they I've got. been there. You know what I'm yes, saying? Sir. Like I remember sure. one time we went to um, I went to Toronto, and I paid the DJ like fifty or hundred dollars to play my music. Right, just one song. Right, and the nigga was dolo when I gave him the money. Little Asian dude. He was cool. He was all oh, all this other shit. Shit was cool. He's like, oh yeah yeah yeah, me play. About 40 minutes goes by, he ain't play my shit, though. Mm. So I tried to go back up to the DJ booth. No happiness. This was in my prime when I was like 2.30, right? <laughs> this nigga in got the 400 right club, yeah. <laughs> over a 500-pound squat, that fast, fresh, nimble. Out, nigga, nigga say, I'm talking about, say I'm it still, again, Marshall. I still stretch. I still, I'm fast as a motherfucker playing ball. The nigga that stood in front of me, I don't know if he was German, Russian, or whatever. He was probably like one and a half times my size. And, they didn't give a fuck. and you knew that's what he was there for. Yeah. I said, "Fuck, we across the border. We ain't got no. Uh, we ain't, you know what I'm he saying? He probably was illegal. He had six passports back Son. at the hotel. Well, <laughs> and I wasn't was supposed to be over there yeah. anyway because I was already like with my record and shit. I wasn't supposed to be across the border, yeah, so I can't lucky. play around like that. Yeah, nigga, that nigga put his arms up like this. Was like, I had to turn around and walk away. Nothing I had to hold that. Nothing. I don't even know who the dude is to Marsh. this day, but he looked I, like. He got he looked me, like son. he knew some shit. Uh, well, that shit happened in was, Albany before too, though at a club. Whoever um, you was, you should have played the shit, man. That's a whole. Yeah, time. yeah, you fuck a fuck, yeah, you nigga. That, you a fuck boy for that, Karma got that, that nigga for that sure. Nigga, that Karma yeah. catch up with that, bro. What'd you say, Marshall? That nigga, that nigga, Marshall said Cap got robbed by a hibachi show. That's recorded. That's on video. That nigga got me, sir. my lawyer. Nah, that part wasn't on video. Just the audio, nigga. <laughs> they got cooked by Did you guys hear that? Your sound that, effect, right? nigga. The, the, the effect was, <laughs> it was loud. Fuck your couch, nigga. <laughs> you stupid, <laughs> Yo, yo, I got something to, uh, to ask y'all. Did y'all hear about, uh, like, the day before yesterday about the bodybuilder? Who died squatting? Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah! I seen son. it. Yo, people don't fuck with World Star like they used to, but I'm an old head, so I still fuck with it. Oh, so that's where I seen it. Yeah, wow, son. yeah. One of one Damn. of my uh, my my uh, YouTube workout trainers and shit posted that shit. That shit was eerie, bro. The nigga had shit four four oh five, basically four four forty fives on each side. The nigga squatted, bro, and he went ass to grass. Son, the nigga got caught up. He hit that stuck Ass spot like grass. Yeah, son, when you go below Deep. parallel. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Son, he got caught up. The nigga that spotted him. He wasn't a good spot, though, son. Nah, he wasn't, I seen son. it, and I was like, because, you know, when we be, so 
he's my spot when I go heavy, there right? Mm-hmm. Um, there's times I wanted to give up, and then he pushed me through certain shit, right? Yeah. Then there's times where it's like he let me just thug it out because he knew I had it type shit. Yeah. The spot that I seen with that dude didn't seem like he was present. No, if you're dealing wasn't. with even 200 pounds, if you need a spot, Fuck. your spot should be present. What I seen was like he just thought he had it. Son, he wasn't even close enough because he's supposed to be right up behind yeah. him so they can lift it together. Yeah. And the nigga, and, and think about it. I, I've done what? I think the most I did was like 435 for like sets of three. Yeah. At parallel, not below, not ass to grass. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. 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 But, takes time. Yeah, but that shit was scary to see the way that shit folded because you're supposed to jump off of the bar. Yeah. So you're supposed to he drop even, it and jump, jump forward. From under it. Yeah. He couldn't. He, it was he over. Backward, son. That shit was. Oh. The, I, I wish I wouldn't one. have watched that shit. Me son. too, son. Because now when I squat, like I'm going to be like. His neck? Yeah, broke his it did. Nigga, it that, did. Oh and he was God. a big dude. He was brolic. He was yeah. young. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But it, he just was. He was speeding, in my opinion. He wasn't built for that. Should have said. It look, you know what it looked like? It looked like he uh, did too much pyramid in meeting. He did too Going many up. reps yeah. prior to getting yeah. to that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it was because he sh- probably could have got that shit like fresh type shit. Right? I think you're supposed to yeah. you're supposed to test your max when you come in the gym. Warm up. Yeah. Get your shit loosened up. Work, get the, I mean, work that your way up too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, You're supposed to go about like set, like 25. Yeah. I That's would what say. I'm saying. Warm up. Get your shit warmed up for a good 20 minutes. Yeah. And then see what your max is. I'm gonna go for my max. Boom. And then you can finish your workout. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah I yeah. tell you what. That's yeah. one thing. And uh, rest in peace to that young man. Yeah. You know, God yeah. bless Those his family. Word family. up. Word so, up. Yeah. But uh, that's one thing I won't play with. Mm-mm. My motherfucking yeah. leg game. Them niggas know like I don't play. Uh. One, I go heavy as a motherfucker, and I always be insecure because my legs always been little. Yeah. So I be like, I'm just going ham on this shit. But once he I shaped. get to a point where I feel like he shaped like uh, <laughs> like nah, it ain't happening. I'm taking that bitch down. That's smart, man. I'm be quiet. Yo, I I'll tell you, you say whatever you want, but I will take your ass to the gym right now nigga, and have you looking like a goddamn nigga, fool trying to squat with me. The nigga oh. shaped like the share sign turned up right. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I got some eighty pound dumbbells in the back room. We could put that yeah, shit on camera. That. I don't know. I don't oh, know. So, no. this, we could squat them shits. That's what that nigga is no, known for. No, that's what that nigga no, is known no, for, though. I can't. I'm his. I'm his. His. Yo, I see this nigga. I see Marshall phone one day. I don't even know when I grabbed it. He was. I don't know what I asked you. For. Oh, I think I lost my phone. I was like, yo, can you call my phone? Then we called my phone, and his phone, it, my name was saved as Black oh, Man yeah. Squats. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's, the name, that's the name of the phone, Black Man Squats. Yo, yo son. Yo, when the nigga had, when the nigga was on, on, son, when the nigga was on Grand Central, he had the studio on Grand Central around the corner from my crib. Right. Squat the building. I used to, I used to come over at, you know, after the parties or whatever. It was like 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. I came to the studio, that nigga Cat was in the corner. It was nineties, nigga. That nigga. Or was they seventies? That nigga had hundred pound dumbbells in the corner drinking smeared offs. Like, yo, what's good, sir? <laughs> you all right? I'm like, damn, nigga, I'm not even right. He just, mm, mm, what's good? Mm, what's what's good, fam? Right? I'm like, damn, he yeah. wasn't breathing heavy or you gotta nothing. Keep the motherfuckers yeah, around you. Man. I was like, yeah. he wasn't breathing heavy or nothing. Oh, that nigga real. was just like, what's good, fam? Boom, boom. Yeah, off. there ain't no blessing about going to prison, but that's something I took advantage of when yes, I was sir. there. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yes, like, yes, yeah. and it's yes, still sir. with me to this day, and that's yeah. over 15, you know, damn near 20 years ago. Fire. So Hell, I gotta fire. say though, I gotta say though, I have to say I gotta give big ups to my big, my my, my big little bro. You he, talking about Jerry? Big. I'm talking about you, nigga. Oh, I'm talking about that video. Because, yeah, nigga. we gonna get into that. We gonna get into. That. I'm Shit. going to my little brother too. But uh, yeah, I gotta give up big ups to this dude, man. Hitting the gym, man. I'm down 60 pounds. Nice. Fuck yeah, my thumb sir. up. You know what I mean? God, still I'm, ugly, I'm though. I'm to get God back. I'm feeling to get back. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming, coming too. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. You came up uh, the shit out of me, quick. Man, so. Like, yeah. we was... You he know thought, what I'm saying? He thought I was on steroids. I, yeah. No, I told him that yeah. people was going to tell him he yeah. was on steroids because his can't, his nah. come up was so quick because right. niggas was putting in like treadmill shit, calisthenic yeah. shit, and this nigga Ooh. weigh over 300 pounds. So for a nigga to be brave enough to tackle... Calisthenics oh, on any level. Yeah, calisthenics is different. It, it bro. burns the yeah, weight. Man. That's okay. different. You know, yeah. but it's I, not like I, I I haven't been there before. You know? Right, right. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, back to uh, about diet what shit too, though. You got to yeah. give it up for the yeah, diet. Yeah, I try, shit try to, eat, I try to eat right. You know I mean? Yeah, I can't. Uh, well, my brother that, Jerry, man. let's get I'm on, let's get on Jerry Beastie. Yeah. Did you watch that video? Yeah, that nigga, man. How much he weigh? So like 180, 190 He's got. He can't be too heavy. 
He's not heavy at no, all. Jerry's not even two hundred pounds. Yeah, he can't be. So I um, what the, what? How much did I weigh when I hit first hit the three hundred? I had to be around. You was under three hundred. I was under three hundred. I had to under three hundred. I hit the three hundred pounds. It took me. You know I mean, I, I got it up. Yeah. So my little brother Jerry's twenty five. He might be one eighty five, one ninety. This nigga sends me a video, three fifteen for ten. He looked like he been to prison, nigga. Yo, that's a whole fact. Hold Jerry's on. Be, how, how you think yeah. tall Jerry? Jerry's yeah. what? Five, I'm the six? He ain't that five, big, five, man. Six, five, his press, seven. His press. He ain't got no I mean, fat granted, on him, though, yeah, huh? Granted, I mean, he, he's built like a fucking G.I. Joe. Hold on, hold on. Let, yo, let's, let's not forget that the nigga's the all-time yeah, 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 rusher yeah, 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 in the yeah. whole fucking broke, yeah, high he broke, school. Yeah. Yeah. He broke Orlando's record. And the yeah, he's the all-time. He's different. Orlando is his cousin. They're family. Oh, wow. wow. Like, they're, they're blood family. I didn't know. Oh, yeah. that's fire. Shouts to Orlando. Yeah, big shouts to Orlando. Orlando Smith, baby. Wow. EFA legend. And Jerry, you know, Jerry's arms ain't but, like, eight and a half inches long. So, <laughs> yo, <laughs> he ain't got too much. That's how but they generate max, that power. Yeah, his max is 385. Did you see the 385? Mm, mm, mm. God damn. I yeah. see that video. Yeah. It's 385. He's what 108. He might be 190 pounds. Fuck that shit. I just but pray he, he maintains. He's. He, oh, I was gonna say I pray he maintains that for the rest of his life. But, but he, he is that type like of nigga that. that he's an athlete. Yep, athlete. He's holding I'm on have to, to that. To show you guys these baby pictures, all right? Because you have certain motherfuckers. I'm trying to tell you, you have certain motherfuckers that's born with this shit. Right. When Jerry was two months old, he had a six pack. I swear <laughs> to God, ask my mother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We used to put him on the shower curtain at six months, <laughs> and he would do pull-ups. That shit would be yeah. so fucking funny. That sounds like a CPS he would define, case, nigga. He would define, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You abusing kids. <laughs> Pull up, nigga. Yeah, hell yeah, no shit. We wanted to see. Like, Pull up or drown. Up. Nigga, filling yeah. up the bathtub. Uh, well, he, he was holding on for dear life. <laughs> 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 that motherfucker didn't want to drown in the pool and shit. <laughs> that nigga, word up. If he didn't hold on, he was gonna drown in the tub. So y'all train the yeah. fuck out of him, goddamn. Yeah, you gotta Good see this That's dope, though, man. Good it's crazy shit. as hell. Crazy as hell, man. Man. Yo, so um, last um, y'all stupid, man. Last time we was in here filming, we was talking about that fucking um, that song with the country dude. Yeah, the Jason Aldean, the small town. Shit. Yeah. So did any of y'all check that I out at all? Chance. I, I looked at chance. I looked at the I video. I heard the country music channel. Uh, took the shit off like immediately like that day because there was such really? backlash from it. Yeah. Mm. You know the hard part with anything I think nowadays, um, the world is so uh, sensitive, sensitive. Yeah. to yeah. Um, any uh, anything, anything that make you frown. Any face commentary up, about any, any, yeah anything <laughs> that's that could be a little bit controversial. You know what I mean? Their their solution isn't to talk about it. It's yeah. just to take it down. Yeah. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, I watched the video. We watched the video yeah. when we were sitting there. Yeah. And I wasn't offended by the video. Mm-hmm. Um, but that was just me, though. I'm not really, you know what I mean? I say a bunch of wild shit, so it's kind of hard to. It's offend. hard for you to believe like. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't, when I, I mean, I looked at it objectively <clears throat> and I was like, all right, there's a couple little racy scenes in it where yeah. you can interpret if that's what you're looking to interpret from yeah. it. You yeah. know what I mean? If that's what you're looking for, you can interpret anything like that. Yeah. Um I didn't think it was that bad. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Like that's I mean <clears throat> my whole thing is like <laughs> niggas been dealing with racism, right? Since the beginning Ever. of time. I remember Ever. we we on Main Street now. I remember being Ever. In ninth grade, me, P, Roy, a couple other people walking over the bridge. It was January, we had brand new leathers from Christmas. So we walking over the bridge. We little ass kids. The police pull us over on the bridge and made us do a lineup while there was a wow. lady in the back seat of the cop car. You ain't got no the, business on the south wow. side. Listen, because wow. <laughs> the Sugar Creek on Walnut it used to be Sugar Creek back then. Yep. Got robbed, right? Third and di- third now, and one. Up. Now peep this: the lady in the back of the cop car, the window was rolled down. She said, "That's not them. That's not them. That's not them." Right? So she's sitting there telling the cop, "That's not them," but, but he, he still. still yeah, so uh, when you trained how to deal with racism that long, shit like that video, yeah. it's like, I don't it's give a fuck, man. Yeah. Like, come on, man. I train my kids on how to spot it and how to deal with it, and I don't think that video was nothing crazy. You know what I mean? Nah, right. but what it is, too, we are dead in the middle or even on the uprise of the information age. Yeah. Where the there's so many people Italy. like ourselves. Yeah who get privy to the information early on and it spreads like wildfire, you know what I mean? The, the news is us now. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? So when what, you what, get it. What they say? And there's the, not a lot of, and there's not a lot of, lot of the real new, news. New media. 
New yeah. media, new yeah, media. that's what it is. Real shit, real yeah, shit. Real. You gonna get it real, raw and uncut? Because it's other shit you can't media. believe. Yo, that's shit. that's why them channels and and cable as a whole is <laughs> going out of business. Don't nobody want to hear the, the fake, fraudulent, matrix laden. Nah, I'm glad you said that, sir. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to um, take this time out to plug my new cable programming and uh, you know, give me a call. Hit me up at, um, y'all can get my information right here. And then uh, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, everybody, we'll everybody looking up. <laughs> he, said, get, he said get it from God. Yeah, he said get it from God. Get it from yeah. God. Everybody, it from everybody looked up. Like, you ready to get on Jesus that shit? Got so my that, info, but check it out. See, that's that internet you get shit. On that. that's, that that's the shit internet up. shit. I'm pointing like this. My <laughs> shit gonna pop. Up. My shit gonna Damn pop up right, right. there. Get it from God. That nigga said, "Get it from God." Yeah, <laughs> you know how the cable company charges? In God, 19, we watch. 19.99 a month. Yes, nah. And you can get it from right here. You watch my kids every other weekend? That's fine. He get every pay-per-view channel. Yeah. <laughs> he going to share his Netflix password with y'all. <laughs> nah, they will share yours. They shit, don't I ain't stop got that one. shit. Netflix don't let you do that no yeah, more. Yeah, you can get yeah, like they, five yeah, or six. All that. What you mean? They, they, don't, that. they don't let you own? Um, nah, you can't share no more. Expe- if not, if I ain't know if that the shit. the device is not in the house. Yeah, if it's not in the house. Oh, shit, I ain't know that. that. Yeah, they uh, shut that shit down. Nah, you could give it to someone across the world. Yo, just put this in. My daughter got my shit. Yeah, but she's in your house. No, though. she's not. Where's yeah. she at? She live on the south side. So what is she streaming it off of? Her TV. The app. There's an app. Netflix app. The app. I heard they stopped all that. Really? Jamisha, Jamisha watched my Netflix at her house. Because I ain't even. And then I watched my Netflix at my house. Let yeah. me get your shit so I can see if yeah. it works. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, that's not happening. <laughs> I just want to see. I just want to make sure it's still I'll working. I'll sign out as soon as I find <laughs> out. <laughs> I'll sign so, out. So I gave a couple people mine, out. though. That's why I said it, because a pe- couple people got my shit. You know what I'm saying? To the point that I gave it to them so long ago. And they done created profiles on my Netflix that I don't even know who the fuck it, it is. Oh too. shit! Like I, the funny name. Hey, yeah, yeah. yeah like, like who that that brother said, I sign out when I find out. Damn. <laughs> give me the give me the password. Give me the password when I get to the house. Call, call, call Davida yeah. and ask Davida. Yo, did y'all did y'all see that? Um, so on Netflix, did y'all see that Bird Box? Um, not the original one. The oh, Bird Box. London uh, or something like that, or? it wasn't London. It was fucking Bird Box, like Russia. Mexico or some okay. shit, yeah, Argentina some shit. or yeah, yeah. hold some up. Shit. So, so what you're saying is they created another bird box to make it look like the shit can spread and it wasn't an isolated yeah. incident. Different yeah. country, yeah, right. different country. Yes. Yeah, All right. So, 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 what you're trying to say is that they subconsciously trying to uh, invoke a little bit of fear about uh, what could possibly pop in reality, right? Yes. Because you know that you know like. they use the movies and shit to scare yeah, niggas. Oh, definitely. Always. Uh, All right. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Them so, niggas is on their job then. So yeah. They work. So in the movie, Word everybody's from seen the conspiracy movie. Right? Quest. Everybody's seen the movie Bird <laughs> Box, right? That's a whole fact, yo. I'll take so I'll take that see... tinfoil hat, fam. So in the movie Bird Box, right? Everybody's seen it, right? Mm-hmm. Nah, I've never seen it. You never seen it? Okay, so seen Bird Box? Seen here, the people that in Bird Box, right? You don't see the actual, I guess, villain. Yeah. Right? You see whatever the monster. Is. You can yeah, you you could tell they seen some shit that makes them go crazy. Right. Know? Right. But it's never yeah. So they gotta keep a blindfold on. What you're saying is, you know what I mean, could it be something, you know what I mean, the movie's doing? So what do you think the blindfold would be? What do you think, like, do you think it's a metaphoric blindfold? Yes, yes, as far as, right. okay, a the, submarine, the submarine, the submarine, the billionaires in the submarine. Mm-hmm. I mean, and everybody's on the billionaires one over here. Some bullshit's happening. Yeah. Do you yeah. think that could equate, you think, maybe? Yeah, I'm, but I'm, I, I'm, I, I, I think just, the COVID shit relates to it the most. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, COVID, you. you can't see it. Right. You think, um, you it's think one COVID, of them COVID was the blindfold? Nah, no, because no, COVID, uh, was the blind COVID was the I think I think the COVID, COVID was, was the monster. I think yeah, the monster COVID was a blindfold that you can't see, that you can't see but yeah. you yeah. happened that so we scared. didn't realize was happening because so, we were so focused on COVID. The vaccination yeah. could have been the blind blindfold. See, oh, see, oh. Nigga, nigga, that's the why I ain't get it, nigga. Yeah, nigga, the vaccination was v- worse than the blindfold, nigga. Son, mm. I know a nigga. I ain't going hold up. I ain't going to put his business out there because motherfuckers trust me with um. Information that's Te- so real text it to because me. they know. No, nah, I can't even give it up. Put it in the group I'm text. the type of nigga. Look, put it, I'm, look, put it in look, the group text. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the type of guy. I'm the type of guy that you you want to do a crime with if it has to happen because I don't oh, give a fuck what happens. That, I ain't yeah. saying shit. Not, I can't even, do it. Not even not. to my wife. That's just how I'm built, right? But what I, what I will say is that he got the COVID vaccine and then he got a disease after the COVID oh, vaccine. Yeah, yeah. Now, what he said was his primary doctor said the only thing this could have been caused by is the COVID vaccine. Yeah, that's crazy. 
That's what happens when you get you something the, that's um, understudied, though. Like, yeah. they didn't do their due diligence. Yeah. And this is something that's going right. to fuck you up years later, I believe. Yeah. yeah. And you remember then, the young lady? I, um, I don't mean to cut you off. No, you go, go ahead. Do your thing. Let your finish. No, no, I was just saying that shit is unfortunate. I know more than enough people within an arm's reach that I look at every day. And yeah. I say, and I say yeah. God damn. Mm-hmm. I hope I don't ever have to cut niggas' heads off one day. Yeah. Man. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's I mean, some real I, shit with, yeah. that, with that zombie <laughs> Low key shit Nigga you Man, never know listen. What niggas got in store Nigga yeah. I don't know I'm yeah. chopping shit off If I got you You remember the young lady no You choice. met at the shop I had <laughs> the He's like, I ain't got no choice I ain't got no choice Sorry <laughs> Do you remember I love everybody What do you remember the young lady you met at the shop in Endicott I had? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. um young lady, real good uh real good people. Um I met him out of Endicott when I had the shop. I still talk to him every once in a while too. Dude, he rides horses and shit and like a rodeo dude. Yeah. And his girlfriend, she was pregnant. She um what she she was a dancer or something. She showed me pictures and shit, like some big shit she was getting into. She ended up getting. Uh, she danced at the last lap. She getting up uh, COVID. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm glad you didn't listen. At the last listen, lap. listen, hold up, fella, hold up, Yo. break it down, break it down, fellas, break the break real quick. Yo. I'm glad you brought that up. Nigga, we right? going to the last lap one of these. Because that's yeah, a great, that's a great, that's a great go. segue. That's a great segue into this. So let me finish. Shorty, she ended up getting the uh, vaccine and it ended up giving her MS. Oh, Ain't I that mean, crazy? Man. Crazy yep. shit, bro. I got to meet her too at, when Ain't I was at his shop. Um, oh, she was wow. talking to me. She didn't even know I had MS. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And she was explaining the whole shit. And eventually I was like, you know what? I got multiple sclerosis too, but my shit is like 20 years deep. You know what I mean? Yeah, I kind of wow. know what played a part in me manifesting the disease. It was uh, fucked up living. You know what I'm saying? Like I was drinking every day, eating fast yeah. food every day, partying. I was doing. I was doing drugs, you know what I'm saying? Like he I'm was, not uh, he spent a lot of his time at the last lap too. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I was, I was quest. Quest. So you heard about that. <laughs> so uh I even the last lap gave me the MS. So Yo, listen. It might be last lap gave me MS. It might put a crab on your eyelash or something, nigga. So about this last lap, right? Now everybody in here knows these strip clubs. I've been to a couple strip clubs. I've never been to the Listen, I'm married. Listen, I'm married. My wife know. Oh, if God. if Marshall was like, hey, yo, Friday we going out, we gonna go to the strip club. Going I'm gonna st- tell my wife, hey, baby, yeah, we going, going to, to the, the strip, strip club. Men's night. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I got a hundred dollars for these bitches. You know what I mean? But I'm drinking but, and eating out this hundred dollars. Right. But hoodie, check it out, hoodie. You know the name of every strip club in this area, the surrounding area, different counties. Definitely. But you close. ever heard of the last lap? Nah. Never. Think real hard. Hold Quest. up, son. I'm about to get off. Right. So, so we got. So listen. Hold on. We got. We got. We got. Bear facts and Waverly. Right. Yep. Yep. Fred's. Right. Yep. Um, what's the joint in? Um, McCall's and Corners. McCall's and Corners. Right. Yep. What's it like? Kahuna's or something in yeah. um, Ithaca. You, you got our shit down. What's the here. one in Ithaca? Uh, Odie Mars. Odie yeah. Mars up there. But Odie Odie Mars is in the Heights. One in Ithaca. Kumas. 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 Yeah. Kumas. Then you got. Hold on. You got Dream Girls. You got Dream Girls in in um in in Wilkesbury. Yeah, Wilkesbury yeah. Dream Girls. Oh, yeah. Dream Girls. Man, this I nigga, this nigga know, know, this shit. nigga know all the clubs. Huh? Then you got the then you got the joint on South Salina Street in Syracuse. Damn, you getting yeah, yeah. kind of you can't like, you damn. getting out of our yeah. perimeter with it. Like. Remember the we Dream asked Girls Wolf. That's where we. T- Remember we asked Quest. Where that's at? That's where we trying to take Mike for his um. For, that's where we trying to take Mike for his bachelor party. Yeah, yeah. The Dream Girls. The yeah, Dream Girls. Well, you said Wilkesbury. Yeah, Wilkesbury. That's PA. That's yep. what a couple hours. Yeah, that's got an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah see, we're not talking go that. that far away, bro. Okay, we're, we're not talking about. All right, so all right, so we got. It just hit me though. Remember we asked Quest, yo, where's the last lap? And he was like, uh, I don't I remember. Don't know. Think about it. Think so, about it. Somebody Google the last. Think lap. about it, bro. The last lap. It's in Steuben. You got to be careful with these bitches. You. Get a, they might break skin or something. So or I, I ain't been the last, the last lap, lap since like 2003. Then. The last lap. That's the last dance. And you huh? probably got to take a wrong turn. To find <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> all I know, son, yeah, all you I know. Take a wrong turn? <laughs> Yo, right. son, he ain't lying. <laughs> It's at Addison. Yeah, oh, nigga, yeah, that's where it's at. The last lap, that's just at Addison. Hold up, hold up. Oh, hold up. shit, you hold know what? He's right. Nigga, let me tell you. That's Adult crazy because I ride by that bitch. We got to go. County. I ride by that bitch going to my father-in-law's campsite. So, oh, we got to go. Addison. So, Maybe we should go to the last lap. Let's, let's go to the last let's lap, lap, man. Shit, y'all know, y'all know so I used listen, to, y'all know it's, I used it's to be. It's bring your own. But check it out, though. I like that. We can go to the last lap, you know what I mean? Being the professionals we are, you know yes, what I mean? Everybody yes, loves yes. us. Yeah. We fuck around in the future. We can do a podcast at the last lap. At the last lap. So I'm going to tell them. last lap. I'm going to tell them. Y'all know I used to be a stripper. They used to call me Chunky no, Peanut Butter. No, we ain't, we ain't I was going to do that shit. I was the first yeah. amputee stripper. 
There's only a few of us left. You're going to get us kicked out, nigga. You're going to get us kicked out. Yeah. Last lap. But what do bitches look like? There's only a few booties left. I'm just trying to figure out. There's only a few booties left. We definitely get the last lap. I mean, this is back in the day, early 2000s when Eminem was popping. You know what I'm saying? He scared his wife. What did the females look like? He keep on stressing back in the day. When Eminem first came out. When Eminem first back in the day. He keeps he keep saying that. Yeah. Quest is bougie. Yo, they was they was all right from that what I remember, That nigga was getting a lap bro. dance with his pinky the up. The last lap. <laughs> At the last. He said with his I said, pinky give me a last lap. Hold give up, me that hold last up. lap. Bro. Hold on, hold on. All Take I this do, last dollar for I this last keep, lap. Son, son, I all I know is that they was they was butt ass. That That's what made them so 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 fly. Let me tell you about on the joint. What's the name of the joint we got down here? Our drunk, our, Odie Mars. Mars. our last lap, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, so I went down there, you know what I'm saying? I hadn't been down there in a long time, and I went in there, and there was no chicks, no, there was no bartenders. Oh, what I was the like, fuck? Yo, are you talking about, yo, are you talking about the lady? With yeah. The- <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, I came in there, I had my man with me. Own drinks. My, yeah, my man, <laughs> yo, my man from out of town was here, and yo, I was like, yo, I'm gonna take you over here, you know what I'm saying? It's and we went in there, and there was, and he was like, yo, okay, I had the lady. you had to pay the. This is how they was working it. I don't know. Maybe this they is how they the always jukebox? work it. Money for yeah, the jukebox. Yeah, they for money for the jukebox. But she walked up like she was, uh, uh like she, like she might have owned the place thirty years ago, but she's still on the roster. Yeah. You know, as as part. She, was big, she was the big as, stripper. No, just, 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 what just tell fuck? him. What? Just tell him what she had, she bro. Yo, she stripper. had. <laughs> what you mean? She had the. She had the. I had heart surgery. <laughs> so she had the she had these boots on and it, it was just like so and I was like okay I gave her the money I was like okay she was like I gotta play the music I'm like okay I'm oh she was the DJ too <laughs> what the fuck Yo, she was the waitress the DJ the, what the and, fuck and, and, and the <laughs> god, god damn, damn. And she was a heart transplant oh, recipient. And she, <laughs> and she, she, and she was her. security in that motherfucker. She, like, she collected the money, too. Yeah. Yo, she Shark. collected the money, she too. A, what, she yo, Shark, what year was this? How long ago was this? this? Oh, this was literally three, four years ago. <laughs> Five. Yeah, yo, maybe we, should, maybe we should go there first. Yeah, we should go to Odie Mars. Then we'll hit the last lap the following weekend or so. So we can laugh at Odie's, because shout out to Odie Mars. Quest, you need me to call your wife to ask you to go to the last lap? Nah, bro. We got to call and ask Quest. No, no, we We got to call and ask Quest. wife some real shit, bro? On some real I thought she quest. had a Halloween. Him My wife is a real. And his wife probably owned the last lap. He yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, on the low. He trying to get niggas to invest in it on the low. Yeah. Yo, you wild. On the low. Like, nah, yo, I got the green light. Like, My wife is cool, nigga. Shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to Odie Mars, man. We're going to come check y'all out. Yeah, yeah shout Yo, out. Right? I got to have more than that out. one. Do you shit, like though. violence and fried chicken? Oh, that was the wrong one. Really, bro? Make sure you got some chicken. Yo, up shout right. out to Odie yo, Mars. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, 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 yo give, give Quest the um, that's cap for what he talking about. That's cap. Word up. Yo. That nigga got to ask permission. Yeah, he gotta ask permission. I, I FaceTime your wife right now. She'd be like, Uh-oh. Yo. Yo, my wife, yo, my wife, the real she'll stunt hard. I know. Go fuck with that nigga. Like, Watch. Hey, baby, baby, try baby, it, nigga. Baby, try baby, it. Baby, baby, I'm about, to, I'm about to use the bathroom, all right? Yeah. Nigga be you know, gone for he like her three right hours now. and shit. He texting her right now. Text they about to call. I got they about to call. I got nah, nah. You ain't peeping. He said, Hey, Siri. Yeah, yeah. Yo, God, son, I got, I got a throw one, yo. Text my nah, wife. Bro. Text her. Yeah. Yo, me and the boys going to last lap, baby. That's I, it. That's it. She gonna think that's yo. a sports club, nigga. Yo. She ain't even gonna know it's a sports club. thing with me. Is. Yeah, baby, we went there and had some chicken wings and watched the game. Yo, that's some real that's shit. That's cat. love, though, man. <laughs> Yo, what goes nah. behind closed doors, nigga, let that be what it be, nigga. Nah, yeah. What's yeah. what, what, what said in this be, house huh? stays in this house. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's why I love my wife, man, because she's such a... She, we've been together so long that she's a rider. We've been together since I'm, high school. I'm you know scared. What Literally. Like, so, not to get too descriptive, but, you know, when a nigga caught his first major crime charge, we was together. She helped me navigate that. Fine. She helped me navigate my world, my way out of that world. Um, she had to teach me some things that I didn't. You know what I'm saying? Right. She, she had to teach me some things that I I couldn't see. Nobody else gave to me, right? And we still Real together, shit. and we have a 21 year old son together. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, so yeah, the course, shit that we share doing? between each other, time, there's nothing that you can do to like equate to it outside of our relationship. Like so, the right. things. So when it comes to me going to the last lap. She trusts me. I just stepped out, and that's fucked what's all up. About the yeah, trust. That's right. she like, oh, she yeah. like, baby. I know you coming home. I know you don't want another bitch because at one point in life, 
I did lust and want other bitches because of my my insecurities. Whatever the fuck it was, me being right. young, my wife is enough, more than enough. I'm good. Or, yeah, or, so it's I like I know how to look without. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? Yeah. Just I know how to look without nothing. Just because I'm on a diet don't mean I don't look at the food. Right. Real shit. I don't right. eat pork or cheese, but pepperoni pizza be smelling good. Nigga, what? Yeah. She yeah. might be like, shit. she might be like, how much are you spending on them bitches at the last lap? No. Take a hundred, yeah. maybe two. Yeah. Get all one so it looks like a lot. That's yeah. right. Yeah. No, my wife is gonna tell and me take a hundred. But you today. better eat real shit. Drink. You better eat, drink, and have a good time off that hundred. Word I'm up. Word up. And gas, nigga. Word up. I'm gonna take a hundred. Who's driving? Word up. Shit, my wife know it's hard to get money out of me for her. <laughs> Think I'm oh, oh, money? Yeah, <laughs> Bill, Bill. Shit. That's funny. Man. Yo, so listen, I was watching um, Drink Champs, and um, they asked DJ Enough and Tony Yayo, they said, who's the, who's the better storyteller, Ice Cube or Biggie? Yeah, I, yo, because my vote and was Tony Ice Yeo, Cube. I, I saw Tony that. Tony Yayo went nuts and was like, yo, you're a fucking clown if because you think Biggie. Because he voted Ice Biggie, Cube. If you, you, Tony um, Yayo said you a fucking clown if you think Biggie, I mean, Ice Cube is a better storyteller than Biggie. Yeah, and, and Tony Yayo lost his mind. He got upset, too. Oh, word? He got upset, too. Nah, like, he was like, nah, he was upset. Like, like, like fuck, yo, you, you fucking crazy. Like, yeah. he going nuts. Uh, damn. Saying, my honest yo, opinion? there's no I way that Biggie is a better. Yo, Ice Cube story. He's from right? So, he is from the West Coast. He's from the West Coast. He's from the West Coast. DJ, DJ EFN F- is from yeah, F- the West yeah. Coast? I he's thought he was from Miami. I thought he, yeah, that's not the he's West Coast. The, no, he was a West Coast, he was a West Coast, um, he was on the West Coast for a long time. I'm not sure if that's where he's from, from but I know that, I know that he yeah, was, yeah. I know that back in the day he was he, a, he, he developed was a West Coast. roots there. Yeah, he's yeah. A West, it's just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, I didn't watch that. Yeah, shit. you gotta I didn't check know. it out. I and watched Drink Champs too. And he was basically yeah. naming all the shits why he felt Ice Cube was that. Damn. Was and he usually don't though. get that. Um, that nigga was hyped. That hyped up. Of, nah, I mean, he Ye-Yo gets into was shit. Yo, yo, yeah, yo, was, was like, like fuck fucking. You say that, yo, can you find that um, yeah, on your phone? And right whoever now. whoever can find it, I'll link you up to the um, one my of the Bluetooth. My shit about to die, bro. Hold on. Yeah, you Android phone having niggas phones oh, always be dying to this no, motherfucker. Marshall go. need a charge. Yeah, Sharp after need a charge. I need after a charge. Hoodie need a charge. Hold up, Quest. My phone, my phone. How your phone doing, Quest? My shit living. I'm on 31%. I'm, I'm good too I'm over here, three sir. Days. This is three days, though. I'm good over here too, days. sir. Nigga, you don't know how to turn at, your phone off? Nigga, I'm on 63. I'm at I'm 5%. On 63. But check it out. At 100%, I'm on 5% right now after three days. I'm going to share it with you. From 100%. Man, nigga, you don't put it on low battery days. mode? Yo. Nah, I don't do all that. I can't get a text or get on the internet, that. but. I don't even do all that. Shit. Apple head ass niggas. Yeah, I ain't yeah, dig it. That Apple life sour, is that. That's that real sour life. Apple bro. ass niggas. Yeah, I ain't dig it. <laughs> no one hit. Yeah, I ain't dig it. Don't want to go without your phone for a couple weeks. Yeah, Drake. Shit. Now, I still got my old Android. Remember, I told you when I was sick, the shit broke because I put it under the heating pad and I slept. That's on. cat. <laughs> Yo, I didn't even know that Ice Cube responded to that either. Nah, he did respond and he said, I you know what? I didn't see that. I see it nah. right here though. Yeah, Ice Cube responded and he said, I can't waste this he bag. basically said, I might need that bag. <laughs> nah, yeah. Ice Cube, because Ice Cube responded. I can tell you be DJ, nigga. That was perfect time, man, nigga. Ice Cube responded and he said, um, he said that that's everybody's. Everybody has an opinion. I'm a, yeah, um, hip hop is, is it a video clip or? A, um, yeah, it's a video clip. From so I'm a, um, I'm gonna press this Bluetooth button on this Rodecaster, uh-huh. and then it should show on your Bluetooth that the Rodecaster Pro is available. I gotta pay the water bill for they cut me off. <laughs> I feel you, nigga. So my phone go off tomorrow, nigga. They turn my phone Yo, off. Geez, y'all y'all niggas need to speak to me. Rodecaster Pro. Me now. <laughs> call me now. <laughs> So anything you play on your phone will... Um, it's going to come right out the juke jack. Yup. As soon as you pair... You done? You pair yeah. to it? This nigga said the juke Good jack. Shit. Yo, so this is his audio for the um, for his phone. Now right, let's get into it. If you love hip hop, you know where it comes from. Yes. Turn it up. What he said? Listen, if you love hip hop, you know where it comes from. Yes. Hands down. Who's your favorite rapper of all time? Lori ain't going to answer this. Who's your favorite? Of all time. All time. Ice Cube. It's going to be Ice Cube. I'm going to go with Biggie. Okay. Ice Cube over Biggie? Yeah. He said favorite rapper. Yeah, I, agree. I was born in L.A. Yeah. I was born in L.A. <laughs> oh, so is he, yeah, AFM Miami, was born man. in L.A. But listen, they talk okay. about, yeah, about storytelling. 
Nigga said Ice Cube over. In my top five is Big L. So you would say Biggie got Ice Cube got better verses than Biggie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Today's agenda. I had the suitcase up in the centra. Big, Biggie's in my top five. Biggie's in my top five. I got oh, man, nothing but respect for Ice Cube. Lead. But I can't say he's better than Big on any so level saying, other than historically. Because he had a longer um he had a longer run in the game than Big did. Big's run was short. Mm -hmm. Um and in his short run, he he killed it. You know what I'm Definitely. saying? Like yeah. and the way I mean, he I told like, stories was fucking nuts. You know, I think I think what he was talking about, in my opinion, was, yeah. was not so much Ice Cube the solo artist. I'm talking about, he's talking about Ice Cube. I wrote everything for NWA artists. Oh, yeah, artists. yeah, yeah. When you think about storytelling, you're thinking about, and you don't never think about NWA. Wait, but yeah. all those, Ice Cube didn't write everything, did he? He wrote, he the, wrote majority the majority of, of that shit. For right? mad people, he did. Yeah. Like I, I think, know he was a writer for a lot of people, but didn't, yeah. didn't, didn't um, um, Cube pin a lot of that shit? That's what we're talking about. Yeah, Ice that's what we're talking about. Ice T. I thought he didn't no, say Ice, Ice. No, Ice Cube. He said Cube, nigga. No, we're talking about Ice Cube. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I said. I that's what I said, Ice some, Cube. Ice Cube, Ice T, all them Me shits too. is Ice, nigga. Um, nah, but Ice Cube. Because he thought it was Ice T. Yeah, nah, Ice that's Cube wrote. That's a twisty guy. Nah, Ice Cube wrote a lot of that, you know what I mean, straight out of Compton and all them NWA yeah, hits. Yeah. So, I mean, I can definitely understand where he's coming from. I think a lot of times with rap, I think it's, even though we respect it, we're young East Coast kids that grew up on Biggie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even though we're young kids that still grew up on NWA. Yeah, because yeah, I grew up. Opinion, see, you know, see, what I mean? you know what's funny? What like. So <clears throat> growing up in the house with a DJ, I grew up on everything equally. There was no separation right. in my household. There really wasn't no, even when the East Coast, West Coast shit happened, it kind of like, it's one of them things that made you feel sad, like, I hate to say it, but almost like when Nipsey passed, because it's like, why are we beefing? Because growing up under a DJ like right. New, in our household, he played everything, every fucking thing, like Regulator. You know what I'm saying? That shit was just as big yeah. in my house as it was um, as, uh, what the fuck, like Shook Ones. Mm -hmm. When they both came out, it was both like, we celebrating these, we watching them on TV. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I think, like I said, I think that that's regional. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's just... That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because you got niggas that'll say UGK is the top group ever. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, and that just that's just regional. Opinions. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you can't even knock them for it. So hold it's on. Like, so hold on. So this was the um so this is what uh Ice Cube had to say. He was on Introducing He was on Audi. something. This was off of um hip hop. DX. So Ice Cube, can you turn me back up? Yo's claim that Biggie was a better storyteller than him. Hey, what's up? I'm A Dub, and check this out. So, in an interview with DJ Who Kid on Tuesday, July 11th, the West Coast rap legend acknowledged Biggie's brilliance as well as the fact that everybody is entitled to their own opinion, but also reminded Yayo Yo and others about his storytelling pedigree over the last 30 plus years, not just as an MC. Mm. It's, it's subjective, you know. Everybody got their favorites. Uh, State, you know, That's I put facts. my stories up against anybody. Confidence. Um, can't blame him for and, that. And you know, I I have a a bigger sample size, but That's at the end said. of the day, you know, everybody's gonna have a different opinion. You know, what I mean, I love Biggie. I'm a fan of Biggie. Real records for Easy and N.W.A. And look, if we talk about storytelling, we just talk about rhyming because I write movies too. So I'm a hell of a storyteller. Mm. <laughs> Starting you know, on a nigga a little bit, story, you know. So that's real. We just talking about rap. Drop, drop a clue bomb on that's, that for that. That's only a portion. Drop a Marshall bomb. And it was a heated interview. Like they were arguing. Oh, they was like, good, good bro. You know, I mean, to be in that <laughs> look, to be in that conversation. I'm winning already, you know what I'm saying? Like, That's a fact. Ice Cube's yeah. response comes shortly after. To That's a fact. I mean, you know what I mean? Shit. I mean, just like we said, I think I think it's regional. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, obviously yeah. being from the East Coast, from New York, I mean, we can even talk about the disparity between New York rappers and down South rappers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I like T.I., I like Ludacris, you know what I mean? One of my favorite groups is Outkast. Who's the dopest, dopest out the South? Dopest as far as single artists, the best group out the South is Outkast. 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 Yeah. Well, I would say I would say I would say Goody Mob. I would say Goody Mob because yeah. Outkast is a part of Goody Mob. Well, we'll just say the whole the whole whole Dungeon family. Who's I would the say best that, that camp? But individually, who's the best out of the South? Probably Lil Wayne. 
Solo he's not in the he's not in the Dungeon family. We talked about that. No, I'm, I'm saying solo. I South. Oh, solo South. in the South. He's a South solo that? artist. Yeah. Lil Wayne is the best out of all of them niggas. He's the only one that's even considered as solo. And when lyrically? I talk about three thousand, lyrically, <clears throat> lyrically, catalog wise, wordplay, process. He's a problem. Longevity. Facts. He like I don't want to hear Andre. Andre's a, the cap edition. And he fuck like, Chris Bosh's wife. Yeah, like, he's not a soloist, yo. I love Andre's artistic, but that nigga's not a, a solo artist. But he gets thrown in there at with, against the solo stone. Well, I mean, artists. we're talking about we're just talking about artists. You know, I go saying? Lil Wayne. I'll pick Lil Wayne over um Andre, even though I enjoy uh three thousands content and all everything more than Wayne. But I respect Wayne's thugging it out as a doloist. Wayne, such a nigga, long time, put some man. straightening on my name, nigga. Uh -huh. Wheezy. <laughs> Word, bro. What the F stand for? I don't know. That's Fruity. Really he had, didn't he have a bunch of uh, Fs? He yeah, used to come he up with different different, different, different things for F. <laughs> couple of them. Wheezy nah, F. but I mean, I do, you know, I mean. <laughs> what was the result of that uh, video clip? Uh, so when we pulled up the, um, the Ice Cube part, he said his first comment was everybody – had their right to their opinion. Yeah. And he said, I respect Biggie and I'm a fan of Biggie. He said, but you know, I, I'll put my stories up against anybody. And he's As supposed to say yeah, that. Yeah. And he Confidence. was like, so are we just talking about rap? He said, because I've wrote movies too. Mm. Yeah, that was so he kind of stunned it a little bit. That was a super flex. Yeah, that was he's a super a flex. flex. A, hum you know I mean? a humble flex is what it was. Damn. Yes. Yeah. Cause so, he is so how do you guys feel about that? Kill. Should 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 it be equal? Because we're talking about <clears throat> Biggie, his uh, <clears throat> his space was making music until his demise, right? Yes, sir. So should we be talking about movies as well? Since Biggie was never in that space, or is it you know what I mean? I think I, even if we wasn't talking about music, Ice Cube has had a lot to say for years. Yeah, yeah. he's definitely an icon. Yeah, he's had the dopest diss track. <laughs> Yeah. No Vaseline. No Vaseline. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, B. You think I I'm understand what DJ Evan was trying to say. Yeah. I really yeah, of course, yeah, of yeah, yeah. It's just niggas here Biggie and they be like, oh, nigga, oh, yeah. nah, hold on. Yeah. I mean, and, and, and that's Ice what I, Cube. Yeah. Fact, and that's what, yeah. it, that's what I said. It boils down to regional, too. Right. You know what I mean? That that has to come into effect. Yeah, where you growing up, what you felt. Because it's just like EFA. He said, yo, I was born in LA. He kept on saying that. Like, You know what I mean? Like Ice Cube, you know, just like we said, is an icon. You know what I mean? When you think about all them NWA records and a lot of that stuff that he, he was, was the writing, writer. Yeah. he was the writer of all that, even though yeah. he wasn't the 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 singer, if you want to say it, the he was the artist, of, speaking the of ghost movies, writer. Speaking that, nigga, of movies. that nigga getting royalties for the rest of his life right. Right. from, man. from that shit. Man. Fuck and the police. His son, his son is acting now too. Speaking of movies, do man. you think you think Biggie was alive? He he he'd be in a movie. And if you, if, if so, if you think what what role you think he would play? I what, think what? Gravy is the best Biggie ever. Gravy. Yeah, yeah, he did his Gravy. thing. He did his thing. Yeah. Gravy did his yeah. thing. No, 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 no. To be in the Tupac I'm talking joint about too. As Biggie again. Listen to what Shots, I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying to you. Shouts out, out to Gravy. Shouts out to Gravy. I yeah, think I'm if Biggie, Biggie was alive, himself. he would have killed. You know, he would have killed Puffy by Tupac, now. Tupac, he was in what? He was in uh, the joint with uh, Poetic Justice. Yeah, he was in the joint with, uh, with with Juice. He was in the. But he was a theatrical. He was a theatrical kid actor. What's the That's what so. So what do y'all think? This I think this is what you're trying to say. Like, yeah. what do you think, what Biggie? Think, what would what Biggie be doing right now if he was still? What role you alive? think would fit him? He was so street and so hood. I, I just, I just. Think I think he, honestly, he just be ahead, a gangster in a movie. Go ahead, sir. I just think Biggie would just be. I don't know. It's hard to say. Man. I mean, look at the niggas that came up during his era. Like, what are they doing now? And who was who were his? So right. Jay Z Biggie was one Nas. of them. Um, Nas who, was one of them. Yeah. Who has who went to movies? Nas well, Nas did Belly. That was some yeah, but Nas class. did some investing outside of music that right. made a him a multi millionaire, know. super yeah. multi millionaire. That's right, multi. multi, -multi um, but then yes. you got what was it Nas? Biggie, Jay Z. That's it. There ain't nobody else? else. There wasn't yeah, nobody, really else. nobody else. Big L, Big L died. Fat Joe yeah. was Fat a part Joe. of that yeah. era. Fat Joe yeah. was a part of that um, era. Shout out to Fat Joe. Um, then you got to think like, um, I mean, you got the you the got Mob Skelter, Boot Camp, Hell Clip, Skip, Boot Camp. Yeah, uh, yeah, Mob yeah. Deep, um, I mean, you don't really know Mob Deep, unless yeah. you squad, unless yeah. you tied yeah. in yeah. with them, you, you don't really know what what a lot of them is doing. I mean, besides Fat Joe, Fat Joe is still relevant. Yeah, and a lot of other brothers that's not being named like that. Well, we, yeah, they I guess still we got on tours, getting that tour money. And yeah, doing little, yeah. I mean, um, you got Wu Tang was a part of that deals, too. Deals, Damn. Man. You know what I mean? You would have to consider Wu Tang. Yeah, was a Wu Tang. Part of that. I think they're on a totally different level because they did um 
So like they maximized their shit early, like yes, sir. where yeah. they had the merch. They, I think I'm not Wu-Tang gonna say they're the first, but they're the ones that had, to my knowledge, the heaviest merch runs. Yes, early yes. where yes. they had early. the shirts. Early. You know how they had the white boys wearing the shirts. Yeah, the, just the W. Nigga, yeah, like just the, the, the China. Nigga, you can go. When I was in China, I'm yeah. about to say like right. not, real yeah. talk, they real talk. I was shit. in Beijing, China, my yeah. nigga, and I'm in the airport, and there's this Chinese nigga with a Wu Tang outfit on, straight yeah. like that. Had the toe tight. That's where a lot I mean, of you know, they, pants, that's where a lot of their focus pants. came from. Yeah. Shirt that China, yellow bro. Shirt. I remember it like that. Smart. That was yellow Wu Tang shirt. Genius. Yellow Wu Tang. Shirt, black Wu Tang pants. See, yeah. a lot of people. Yo, realize, son, they've been, man, they've been at a bigger. video game. They was the first rappers with a See? video game. Yeah. I, I had it. I so had it, so yeah. let's circle back. Do you think Biggie would have um, maximized his? I think Biggie would be in jail for killing Puffy. Why? Because Puffy, because he wasn't gonna let Puffy rape him like Puffy raped everybody else. Because it was coming, and that's why he's gone now. Yeah. Mace could have been a little bit more than what he, I feel oh, like he could have been. Oh, shit, yo, speaking of, did you guys Hold hear up. the nigga that, that came out with the uh, the confession that from L.A., the nigga who, who the niggas who killed Tupac? Yeah, I saw that. Son, and, and, and I'm not saying this is fact, but nah, let's just put it in a what if perspective. That. If that's true where the nigga Puff said, yo, somebody killed this nigga Pac, I'll give him X amount of dollars, niggas kill Pac, and then the nigga, Pac, and the nigga uh, Puffy didn't pay the nigga who killed Pac what? said, oh, word, you ain't going to pay us? Biggie out of here, too. That's what I heard. That makes sense. Wait, 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 but listen, wait. there's a lot so of So I've never different... seen that one. Yeah, I've seen... I just saw it recently. I've never yeah. seen that one. It's some recent shit. Just, I'm just saying, it may not be fact. It could be fiction. But what I'm saying is. We yeah. don't know. We don't know shit. But it makes sense. <laughs> it does. I mean, that was a, that was a media-fueled street beef. <clears throat> and the media fueled it so much that the niggas who really actually feel like they bleed and live that real street life. Yeah. Is that that's what really happened with that. I know that shit was sad to me, man. Like I said, growing up in the house of a, a DJ that loves music, played music from from everywhere. It's like run. we never really knew any um barriers. It was like, yo, I love Pac as much as I love Big, Straight even to up. this day. That's right. Um granted, if I think Big is my favorite, it's because I prefer his music. His not type be- of style yeah, of music. Yeah, yeah. Not um, because who was better. Yeah. Was the beats, the beats and everything. It's just that's what I feel. What know? a lot of brothers <laughs> feel to want to talk about, I'm just gonna slide in real quick, not to get too deep, but there's a deeper there's a deeper situation going on other than the music. You know, there's a lot of things going on in this, you know, industry. Yeah. yeah. You know Whole what I'm saying? Line. That Whole you have line. to be a part of yeah. or you not a part, part of, of if it. that makes sense. That's what yes, they've been sir. saying. That's as far as I'm really willing to get into Whole it. Lot of sense. You Whole know what I'm saying? But it's like, yeah, there's other things going on. So when you see brothers on camera rolling off the tongue about things they're not supposed to talk about and then two uh, to three months later they're dead. They it's almost it's, it's almost common right. sense. Okay, you don't want to be stop. involved with the elite. Yeah, yeah. Listen, you don't want to be involved with the elite. Yeah. That's cool, but you ain't gonna talk about it after you step off. Yes, yeah, sir. Because oh, once you do God. that, Endorsing. that's when you so, know you're not around. That's like anymore. the empire how you, artists. How do you feel like that? How do you all feel them, like all that? Them empire artists is dead. To music now, because the way I look at it, right, is like now a lot of these artists today, and not to get away from the past, but now. It, it, it kind of segue to today like a lot of these artists are getting independent money but at the same time they're tied to um not majors but major distribution somehow, yeah somewhere tied to these the, 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 the some distribution is where companies. the distribution is where they get you at it's mm-hmm. like is you know you can be independent as far as what you're putting out yeah but being able to distribute your music and get a major push you get a major push mm-hmm. you yeah. know what i'm saying because that that you know that's you can have a dope song and that shit ain't never gonna be on the radio. Yeah. But then we can listen to the radio. We could be listening to the radio for an hour and hear this and change the station four times and we'll hear the same song. Okay, I didn't I, like it when it first played. Fuck it, now I like it. Yeah. Because it played so many yes. times. It made so many. Times. I heard something somewhere. I don't. I don't. I don't want to misquote or anything, but they was talking about how record companies they'll buy. They'll buy uh, artists' projects, and then they'll shelf them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because it's like competition. Yeah, time. Damn. Yeah. Oh Yo, shit. Yo, we don't want that out right now. Yeah, we don't want so that. So we'll out. buy We're what you was looking for, and we're yeah. gonna put it on the shelf we'll so my artists can shine. Damn. Time and it's everything. Okay, now we'll put that out if yeah. we even need to. Damn. Right, right. I that's can't remember where I heard right it from. Yeah, that that's crazy. Deep, man. How y'all feel about fun. the music today? Like, um, I like some of the new stuff that's popping off. Yeah. But just I like the ones that's 
I don't know, I've always been to pain music, you know, re- reality yeah. music, that type of yeah. music. So when I hear all this glorifying certain things, it's like, yeah. okay, it's, it's okay to give that, these uh, uh, amount of people their type of music. But every song, you know, I don't it's know. It's different, man. The same beat, that same, same monotone Same beat, same melody. auto-tune vibe. I like, to, I like to hear good music. Yes. And I like to hear a story. And I don't care who made it, as long as it's good. I don't care who made it. Quincy Jones said there's two types of music. Two types of music. There's good music yeah. and bad music. That's right. That's it. You know, I don't want to hear the same shit all the time. I want to rah, rah, ga, 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 in the trap. <laughs> tell me a story. Yes. Okay, if you want to add rah, trap, bitch, tell me a story about it. Yeah. Tell and me then a story. God forbid, but I don't want to hear true. about you. Yeah, exactly. But I, even, cr- that, even that time, I don't want to hear you in different cities because shit. of the things yeah. you say in your music as well. You know, right. but the hardest yeah, part is... Sure. We grew up in an era where nobody sounded the same. Right. There you go. Yes. And so, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just, yes. that's just how it was. Nobody yeah. sounded the same. The biggest thing in our era was was standing out, was being different. Yeah. Well, that's why artists that I like, like, like Busta Rhymes. Now. Like Busta Rhymes. Yeah. Niggas like Busta because they know that he's going to bring the energy. Word you know up. what I'm and saying? And he's still irrelevant. Shout and, and out to Busta Rhymes. Still up. irrelevant yes, today. But, you still know, and, and, and so nowadays, and I try not to be a hater on the new music. I honestly yeah, try not too, to be, I, try. I try not to be a hater on the new music. But at the same time, mm-hmm. you know, it shit do sound the same. What new music? What new music you talking You know about? where the difference comes from now? I can't even tell the, you because I don't the, know who the, they are. The different Lil Nas look, look, the different the different music now comes from outside of the states. Yeah, because nice. um if you yeah, think about the, the like Afro, the Afro music, the Afro the, music even in deep. London they have their own drill movement. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like <clears throat> And just to be clear, I work with a lot of younger dudes here in the studio, and I appreciate what they do because they have the, uh, you know, the bravery to come in here and try something. But it's not about being an older nigga. It's about being, you know, coming from an era where you want to hear something different. So if you have 10 sessions in a row and the shit sounds the The same, same, like you said, to me, I mean, sometimes they come through and have the same beats that are tight beats from YouTube. Mm -hmm. And the same cadence. Trying to sound Mm -hmm. like the same drill artist or what have you. Wow. So when it's motherfuck- imitation, not it's not it's not so much it's not so much. Um, it used to be, we want to influence you to do this. Yeah. Now it's I want to imitate this because imitate now yeah. so it's almost so, like it's, it's two or three different types of ca- types of cadences in this rhyme. You know what I mean? You really? got the <laughs> and you got the <laughs> yeah. Word up. Yeah. Son. It's like two or three different cadences. You pick one. Yo. Give it a t- yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, so should we blame yeah, the right producers? Up. Nah, I think yes. No, it's the should we blame producers. the producers? No, it's no. the record companies. Because, because think about this. Companies. Think about this. If all right, so ninety percent of these independent artists are getting their uh, beats from YouTube mm-hmm. type mm. beats. So if those type beats weren't available, what would they create to? Yeah, right. Oh, them, them YouTube niggas gotta get their paper. Them YouTube producers. Oh, them niggas eating. Yeah, yeah but they but they eating. but they understand they understand the process of how music yeah. is being microwaved. They eating. And this wave that we've yeah, been you, on. All the ingredients in the formula, you know what I mean? Yeah. I guess, and you got a lot of people riding the wave. If it works, I'm gonna jump on it. But yeah. this right. wave, this up. wave, yo, this trap wave and then morphed into this drill wave, it's probably been the longest stretched out wave that I've seen in I mean, a because long the hardest time. part, like, hey, there the hardest part is there are lots of artists that don't fall into these categories. Yeah. You know? right but, you know, when you think about it, it's just what we talked about, what Quest said earlier, the what the record companies are pushing. And yeah. somebody said yeah. somebody said that um, they buy your album and put it on the shelf. I don't remember which one of y'all said They'll that. Shelf it. Yeah. yeah. But Competition. So, word up. So they have put those things in, in place to push their narrative. You know what I mean? But if you're listening to other, like, Kendrick, he don't sound like nobody else. Yeah. J. Cole, he don't sound nope. like nobody else. Rhapsody is one of the dopest female MCs ever. Who was the young nigga I just heard um, um, did you, two, three weeks ago from Cali? I think he was. Damn. When I think of it, I... I like like I like um I like the dream I like the Dreamville camp that J Cole got like J I D yeah, and them JID brothers they, dope. yeah you know what I'm saying I like those brothers they dope um there's a bunch well, of they brothers they're really spitting something you know what I mean a lot of these kids and it'd be different and, and so it, where yeah, do you, where do you I think music is going now where is it gonna man. go in the next year two three four or five man right. music is going for, towards whatever streaming I think it's headed for destruction self destruction. 
It's headed Unless for self-destruction. Uh, bring back the essence of it because things have self changed. Self-destruction. The things we talk about, the things that's going on in life right now, like that some of the music changed. that my daughter knows, I'd be like, wow, I wouldn't like, even. what the fuck? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's too much. I mean, because too much. I get into arguments yeah, all the time. It's making me change the type of things I say yeah. in my music. I ain't even going to bullshit. Yeah. That's some real shit, bro. I'm, crazy. Man, listen. It's crazy, man. man. Yeah, Did y'all, y'all, listen, we was listening to the, we, I was in the car with my daughter. And this song came on, and she turned it immediately. And I was like, "She what knew the? you wasn't so gonna listen, So I was like, "Yo, no, 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 no! What was up with that?" She said, "Daddy, you're not gonna like that." You don't like that. Oh, one. Wow. I was like, "What you mean?" She said, "No, Daddy, listen." She said, "I ain't gonna lie. I know that you sell drugs and pimp holes in your music. You know what I mean?" She said, "This is not Benny the Butcher." This oh, is not shit. none of the stuff that you be listening to. Shit. So I turned it back, and that shit. The shit said. My coochie pink, my booty hole brown. Oh, I said, oh, shit. I said, yeah, right. Turn that one. She said, I told you, Daddy, you wasn't gonna like it. Oh yeah, that that's where we at yeah. right now. I you mean, know what's I, funny? I've been, you know, I start, I started. I'm still, I'm in love with hardcore music because that's where I come from, right? But <clears throat> it's funny because whenever, as my daughter started getting older, we be riding in the car. Certain songs will come on, whether it be my Spotify playlist or anything. I'll turn that shit off. So the whole time, my wife and my daughter, they're on the same page because they know why I'm doing it. Me, I'm yeah. thinking I'm slick by cutting it off. Yeah, I do that shit too. So now that my daughter's 18 and she was 17 last year, so as she got older, it was more like they understood why I was doing it. Yeah. They always thought that shit was funny. Oh, word. Yeah, because it was like... Okay, something's about to play. He don't want. I He's do about to shit. cut it off. Watch, Yo, I watch, do that watch. shit to this and day, And I will cut bro. it off. So now I understand that all this time when I was like the hardcore rapper recording all this crazy shit, did mad crazy shit, said mad crazy shit. When it came to my daughter, yeah. I yeah, ain't want her to hear none, none of, of that, that shit. shit none huh? of that, yo. Yeah. But she doesn't listen to a lot of that shit to this day, too. She Mine appreciates too. music. She listens to a little bit, but, you know... Uh, I think she understood. I can't even say think. She understood yeah. what I was doing and why I was glorified. doing it. He wasn't glorifying the yeah. fuckery. Yeah, even though she shit. knew I always worked with hardcore artists, right. she knows where I come from, what I did, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But she also knows what I'm trying to protect her from. And yeah. they and grow up understanding that. Yeah. That's why I try to tell stupid face. Hey, he know he know who stupid face is. Yo. When them kids get older, Yo. they start to understand this shit now. That's all. Fact. Shit starts to make sense. This is why Word. my dad did this. This is why my yeah. dad did yeah. that. I mean, they're gonna be adults and they're gonna look at you. You know, it's it's a yeah. fucked up thing when your eighteen year old judges you. Yeah. Yo, with dad, you Yo. did what the fuck? Yeah. No. Yo, what I think personally, where music Excuse is gonna me. go, I probably say in the next twelve to 18 months, it's gonna be predicated on what the icons of music drop. Yeah, I, I think, think what can shift the culture or even influence it or put a Band-Aid on the artistic representation of mm. our art is gonna be predicated on what uh, Kanye is coming out with because he's working yep, on the album. Yep, yeah. What J. Cole comes out yeah, with, you know, course. for his album because he's supposed to be dropping soon. That's, that's what we wanna hear. Them kids don't give a fuck about that shit. Yeah. That yeah. Jay Z four 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 album was dope. They didn't give a fuck about yeah. it. Yeah, but you'll be surprised on a lot of what these, you what think they want to hear. Kids listen to what y'all think the kids want to hear now. Because I think we're in gun culture. Exactly. Um, if you rewind to like the Wild Wild West, and it might sound crazy, but in the Wild Wild West, everybody was strapped up. It was the law of the land. Yeah, you respect no me law. if you not. Yeah. If you don't, we gonna handle it right here and there. Right? Like I done been in the <clears> studio <throat> and niggas that was. And I ain't gonna say no age groups because they're gonna know who the fuck I'm talking about. And I don't even wanna partially put they a nigga out there. They won't listen to but I've had some me. little niggas come in here with pistols on them. Wow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Pistols that's too big for them to even shoot. <laughs> so yeah, think about it. Crazy. Um and, and they know I don't I don't judge them, but I always give them that old head speech, like, yo, why you gripped up? Why you Especially old? in here. Look, I got ops. If they catch me while I'm on my way here, what am I going to do? Now, look, I'm not it's saying real, it's right because it's wrong. But what I'm saying is this is what's going on today. Yeah. There's beef that is involving kids, hammers, guns. So yeah. 
you can't expect one nigga, even if he wants to be as positive as possible, if he has ops that are trying to gun him down, you can't expect him to not protect himself. Oh, right. for sure. And that's why I say we're in gun culture now, because it's so, these niggas is so young. Yeah, man. Where is this shit gonna go? Yo, that drill music is the motherfucking battery in the niggas' backs yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're idolizing shit that they think is real, but they don't really realize it's real. You know, social it's media. Not real. Social media has them so acclimated to seeing yeah. what's going on because you could put on Facebook Program. this and that. Yeah. You can put on Instagram this and that. Yeah. It's just like gun culture. Think about it like this. Since we're talking about gun culture, I'm going to bring the NBA into it. And this is just the, for the simple fact of the gun culture. Yeah. You got a nigga, John Morant, right? He lost out on $260 million because he want to be pulling a gun out listening to NBA young boy. He lost two sixty. Son, so he lost a couple endorsements. Two hundred sixty thousand? No. No. Million. Like million? Yeah, million, son. Million, million, million. Because Dumb nigga. Because he lost, he didn't get he didn't get first team all NBA because he had got suspended. So that right there lost him the Supermax, which was um having him eligible for two hundred and seventy five million. Dumb. You know what I'm Hold saying? Up. What? Word up. <laughs> and and then and then you know Nike then he came out with his new Nike signature. Oh, that shoe. sold out. That sold out though. But but it but it sold out, but they never they never um it only sold out of the first wave. Yeah. They didn't put it back out. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, okay. Wow. So if you got a 12 pack nigga and you sell the 12 pack and niggas is filling your drink, they're gonna want more. Oh, them niggas gonna be ready for his his next installment. I understand that. But you know what, what I'm gonna, saying you is know that that's gonna, fucked up the money. You know what's gonna happen now? They're gonna control that nigga. You see your your sneakers sold out, right? This is what we need you to do for us. Son, put and on this we'll dress, nigga. Out. We'll put your sneakers back. Yo, that's out. a whole fact, bro. Yo, <laughs> nah, but you know what I mean. Like I said, put on he, this leotard, he, nigga. He really <laughs> fucked up. The he really fucked up a two hundred and fifty million dollar bag. Yo, that should drop to maybe like because, one thirty. Like, like, he's still getting the hundred. We don't, but we don't know. He's a nigga. still eating. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's oh, still yeah. eating. He's yeah, but. You still fucked up two hundred and fifty. Yeah, I'm saying he get what? Let's say worst case scenario, one twenty. Who are his family members? Like, what the fuck? His, Who is talking his to him? Man? His dad is one of those. Uh, we cool. We his home dad. His, dad, his dad. He from a small town. This is the thing, and this is what up in a good neighborhood. This is this is the thing. He That's from a crazy. small town, right? And he, he got he all thug. this money. Think he a thug, huh? Yeah. And he, from he a small he a town. Thug. Think he a thug. Then grew up in a good neighborhood. Got good parents. So at the end of the day. Damn, that reminds me of some Moss. young niggas I know. Exactly. Yes, sir. <laughs> At the end of the day, he jerked me. But hold exactly. on, hold on. Damn. It's that music, though. Nah, that's, a, that's an actual fact. It's the music that's, that's an actual is being fact. That's influenced by. Why don't we ban rap that's music, exactly what ban, it is, bro. nigga? Yo, nah. <laughs> yeah. that's make exactly all, make all them is, niggas bro. do country music and shit. That's exactly what it is. These yeah, thug country music out, too. Sign these young kids to these contracts for 15 years. We're going to put this music out. Put this out. Cutting the motherfucker head off, doing this, doing that, doing this. And like you said, gun culture. These niggas think this shit is cool. Yeah. These guns are killing kids. Bro, they stunting on Instagram on they and all that shit yeah. with the lives. They're doing yeah, reckless bro. shit on camera. So yes. they're, they're Nigga, I, rem I remember when. Bruh. Look, I remember when that shit started to happen. Because um, I've been here since 2016. In 2016, it wasn't popping like that. Niggas still had some form of caution and awareness, yeah. right? Yeah. So I remember when it started turning into not just putting being in the studio on social media, it turned into niggas starting to put weed on social media, yeah, I remember yeah. that. money on social yeah, media, yeah, yeah, yeah. then <laughs> guns That's on social media. Like, and me it. coming from a, you know, I had a conspiracy charge that was damn near impossible to beat, right? So in my logical brain, I'm saying like, you putting this out there, Fact, recklessly, yeah. and but you reckless. ain't in jail. That shit is cool. Likes, nigga. Likes. That's the question. And you likes. ain't clout. in jail. Clout. Likes and views and clout. We yeah. need we need duplicates of that. We need that to be duplicated. That's yeah. what that is. Yeah. We're gonna let that ride. You know, like, like crazy. we grew up in we grew up in a situation where we go like, listen, I be I be totally transparent with y'all. Y'all know me. We've known each other for God knows how long. Ever. Let's keep it real. Y'all know I ain't no count. gangster. I, I ain't no count. gangster remotely. I ain't scared. I ain't no pussy. But I don't want no problems. Not at, not one bit of problem. 
But now with my leg, run up on me in my car if you want. To. Fuck around and find out. You see what I'm saying? But we come from a situation where we don't want nobody to know what we got going on. Yes. Yeah. You know yes. what I'm saying? Like yeah. I don't I don't care for you to know that I got a pistol with me. Yeah. Because I don't want to use it. Right. right. I'm not yeah. trying to show it. I'm not trying to flash yeah. it. I'm not trying to pull it. I said this last time. I'm not last trying to do none of that shit. That shit kills me. Out. Come when, on, when these, we'll say it one more time. Don't fuck around and find out. It kills me when these niggas be. Um, you could be young or old, but okay. So I am tough. I know I'm tough, right? But there was a point in time when I guess I probably didn't know or feel I was as secure in my toughness. You know what I'm saying? So now that I know I'm tough, I'm t I'm battle tested. You know what I'm saying? I guess that's what I'm saying. Right. So now I'm less prone to just be aggressive. Or you don't have anything. You don't feel like you have anything to prove. Nothing think, at all. I think yeah. that's what it was. That's I think I I think you've always known that you were tough. I think sometimes when we was young, you was in situations I think that's what it is. where you had to prove like, yeah. you know, the, the, the like this is this is not. Don't let these raps fool you, my yeah, nigga. Yeah, this is yeah. really what goes down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you had to prove it a couple times. Yeah, and that goes yeah. back and check it out. Even our hold up, but let me back. finish though on, because I'm totally secure now in my manhood, my spirituality, my right. physical ability, uh, everything. Right. So now I'm able to do shit that I wasn't able to do back when I was younger. Right. And mm -hmm. it feels like a superpower because now I can see the world in a way that I never seen that shit. Fire. Like if you sitting there in front of me and you talking crazy and aggressively, mm -hmm. I can calmly see that you're scared as a motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. You've grown. Yes, sir. You can't move older. as fast as I can because you're not even thinking about you no. just emotionally flying off, right? right? But if I wanted to grab something or grab you, it would be so easy. I've never seen people or the world like that. And it comes from security and knowing yourself and where you're at. Do you right. understand what I'm right. saying? Right. He, uh -oh. he channeled his inner Steven Seagal. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> that nigga I, beat up everybody. Nah, I, I thank <laughs> God for that, right. though, because think about it. You running, you running around um, for 10 years, 15 years, whatever have you, and motherfuckers looking at you like you tough, you a gangster, this and all that, right? They want to test you. But you putting in your work so they know, right? But then they don't test you at that point because they feel like, oh, he's reckless or he's this, he's that. But then when you graduate to be the individual where you've reached your 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 prime and your everything. You're grown up. Now you're mature. Wise and a nigga up. might think that because you're more mature Seasoned. that he can test you now. Can, yeah. Not knowing that you see him in a way that he can't even see himself because if you locked each other in a room together, close the door, no knives, no guns, no help. Oh, this old what nigga. would a nigga feel? I feel secure in that room. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be scared. This is how I'm trying to raise my children, my boys especially. When you're in a room yeah. with a nigga, just you and him, no matter how big, how small, how do you feel in that room boxed in? Just you two. That's the real person you are. That's a fact, bro. That's that, con I mean, that's where the, the within, that statement of from within, whatever you say, from within, that's where it begins and ends. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's 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 all about how you deal from a, a logical and emotional standpoint yeah. as well and being able right. to, to balance both of those you know, yeah. attributes, so. No, that's all facts right there. And that goes back Real to these shit. kids now. These niggas running around with all these guns. And I equate that to being scared. Yeah, you have something uh, to fear because you got beef, but let's be real. It's not because you're tough. Uh, it's because no. you're scared of what might happen to you. I mean, let's keep it real. You know what I mean? Like, God they bless think that shit that's is cool, how, too. That's how BD died. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga, I don't really know much about... That nigga Rel ain't mean to shoot BD. He, yeah, he was just trying to... Who? He, was Rel. He Who's um, Jarrell. He ain't, he ain't mean to shoot BD. That nigga was trying to buck that big-ass gun in the air. And you know how... I don't know much about how he... I you, know how he passed, but I don't know any details. So, you know, you know when you got a big gun, yeah. like a 45... Like a 45, you know I mean? the you long gotta, shit, you got You got to hold that shit nigga. with two hands. You know what I mean? You can't be a little... And nigga, point it towards look, the ground a little bit. That's exactly, because what happened is you try to shoot in the air, what's going to happen as soon as you pull that trigger? Boom! Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers didn't mean to do that shit. Damn. But because you scary, you trying to... Get a nigga up off you, you know yeah. what I mean? That's when fuck shit happens, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And these kids don't really realize the the depth of what they really are doing. Damn. But but also what they're consuming between their ears 
isn't anything that's contrary to the Word function. Because yeah. yeah. a gangster yeah. to them, a gangster yeah. to them is a nigga who go to prison yeah. and be in prison. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's see. not gangster. Like what you've see, been to prison. Man. Yeah, son. That's just not gangster, my nigga. I've told my boys and my it. kids, as in my boys and as many of these young niggas that'll listen. Like when I went to prison, I turned into the beast I had to be. Um, but it wasn't survive. on some guerrilla shit. It was on some, I've always been strategic. God blessed me with patience. So I've always been able to play chess in life, right? And I'm strong and tough. But I'm not saying that I went to prison and I was a gangster because some shit happened, not with me, but what I'm saying is a lot of these niggas that act like they tough, you can't even be the cool nigga. Niggas is taking advantage of you. And if you're the type that allows yourself to be a pushover for any moment, Niggas gonna get you, especially yep. in this day and age. I didn't have the. I had. I didn't had the. Let, let a wolf see some vulnerability. Yeah. Some vulnerability. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Word up. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. And a lot of these niggas go to jail. They come home. They don't tell the real story of what the fuck then happened. Yep. I know some stories about some niggas. Uh, I ain't never gonna tell them. I know a few. Can I tell one? Nah. Let the niggas live their life. Wrong and bu- let's talk bu- about this shit too, bu- though. Hold up. Let's talk about this. Do you shit. like violence and fried chicken? These niggas, the the the, the I like fried chicken. Sending niggas to jail is at an all time high right now. It's a fad. Um, it's a, it's a trend now, Snitching. and it's actually cool. So uh. out of twenty of these young niggas, say there's twenty niggas in a group now, right? Yeah. And they hustling. You mean to tell me at least three to five of them aren't giving information to the police? Easy. It's almost impossible. Facts. Whether it be in their raps. Or whether it be on Facebook, because I see a lot of niggas. I, I'm I had to defriend a bunch of young niggas because <laughs> click. You know when you when you go. You know how when you log on to Facebook and they got the stories up there. I, you know I'm still. You know what I mean. I'm yeah, not the Facebook about, yeah, man, yeah, but you yeah. know I I I've learned a little bit. Yeah. So you know what I mean. You click on the stories. Yeah. Nigga, and it's nothing but. This ounce is this much. This ounce yeah. is that much. Wow. This ounce is this much. Yeah, yeah, it's got mad pictures of weed on there. Yo, hit me up. Yo, holla at me. Yo, oh, yada, yeah. yada, yada. Yo, yada, yada, yada. Damn. Like, yo, son. Like. Police probably happy about this that shit. This shit legal now. I'm going to show everything. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, they, and, they got the, and they got the little cameras on every other corner, too. Yeah. At the hot I mean, spots. that's just like what you said before. Yeah. That's just like what you said before with the situation. In Waverly, when you was like, damn, son, like that nigga had like yeah. 10 or 20 of them things yeah. out. And I was uncomfortable. I was like, uncomfortable, Like, son. yo, bro, like I don't care what you do. Like we've all been around. We've all been around certain situations. Yeah. I don't get uncomfortable when it's 10 or 20 things. I start looking Yeah, because you an old jack boy. Yeah, word up. I look but around what I'm saying, for exit. Fuck. But what I'm saying is, is though, when you dare to do a job. You about to relapse yeah. when you see that yeah, shit. I yeah, I but start you know, sweating and shit. Like I said, when you dare to do a job, <laughs> yeah. and, and, you know what I mean? and they put you in a predicament like yeah. that. You know what I mean? Yeah, obviously. Yeah, that, yeah, that don't make, yeah, that, yeah that, obviously, that don't you, you refer, we street niggas at the end of the day. Yeah. We've all done shit that we're not proud of, and we had to get through and do. You know what I mean? So yeah, those thoughts come into your head, but when you're trying to be and maintain legitimate, the legitimate legitimacy, yeah. you're gonna be like, damn, bro, like you I don't care. Up. You've I grown up. You've grown up. You wisened up. Yeah. You, you made families. You got things going on now. Girl. You get in a situation like, goddamn, like you said earlier, like this motherfucker has no idea. Yeah. He has no idea who I was. Yeah. Word up. Like you, you pulled that? him out. Yeah. Uh, next thing you know, y'all gonna be tied up on the floor. We are gonna be going out with all twenty of these things, and we might come back. No, hey, thing, hey no, let me tell you, with, Jesus. I, with me, I ain't gonna take twenty. I'm gonna leave you with two of them because I might need it later. I'm gonna let you come you back stupid. up. Stupid. I'm gonna let you get back up where you need to be. And then I'm gonna come I, see. You I was again. always a no if mercy nigga, man. Like yeah. that's why I feel Certain so situations. good about um my growth because I know mercy and empathy now. You know what I'm saying? Cat was so blessed, man. I know we are so fucking blessed. It's just, it's just to be where we at right now. And from granted, if from. God, if I feel like God will justify me doing some shit in this life, then I won't have any mercy because God need warriors too. That's yeah. a fact. That's real. I think on that note. Yeah, let's get the fuck up out of I here, man. From note, my wife start texting shit. me. You're that was right. some real shit, yo. <laughs> Good Bro, shit, shit man. Word yeah, up. Yeah, good shit. Yo, so what's this, what's this number two of uh, number two of mindful exchange? Yeah, number mindful two. Number two. Exchange, number two. We just want to appreciate that. Let's give a shout out to you, our, our, you, our, our couple of viewers niggas. we got. Word up. 
Shout out for listening to us, man. Whoever's yeah. watching and listening, definitely shout want out. to give a shout out. Shout out to all the shout out to all the girls who face don't match their neck. You stupid. <laughs> yeah, because what are we really doing in shout, here? Shout what are we to, really doing? Like what, if, what, if, what are we really doing? We just talking about life. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Doing, like man. just sparking conversation, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. shout out to all the girls that let their baby daddy see their kids without no problem. That's Real a whole shit, fact. Man. Real shit. Shout out to them. You know what salute, I mean? Shout out, salute. shout out to them knowing and understanding that um, Father's Day ain't your day. Let your baby daddy see their kids, man. Yeah, but do they really understand that, though? Nah, they nah, don't. Nah, because they, they, they go off a of straight emotion. We got to tackle that topic next time. Next time. Let me leave you with this. This this will be the topic next time. So I've seen a study real quick. I don't want to misquote anything, but they did a study. Basically, kids that's raised with their fathers, single fathers, have less of a chance of going to prison or getting in trouble than with their single mothers. I believe that's this a fact. Study. So I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look all the information up, and next week we'll yeah, talk look, about yeah, it. And look we that gotta add, up, bring that. And, and the we'll next thing uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna talk about step parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We that's gotta right. talk about that. Then we'll talk about that. That we, yes, we, we talk about fatherhood in all aspects next time. Yeah, I love that. You know what I'm saying? Let's do that. Yeah, Y'all give yourself a round of applause. Signing off, fellas. Yes, your, it's your boy Hood Bro. I already told you, I identify as a donut. I'm round and delicious. Holla at me. <laughs> Y'all crazy. Peace, 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 peace. Peace. Beautiful, beautiful.